Ooh, the door! Someone set the- Wait, what? Oh, hey, uh... Is there a doorbell here? I didn't actually know we had one. Ah. Is this yours? It's my husband's. Where'd you find it? Up there! Leaning against the sky! Precariously and perilously! He must have dropped it! Well, it's a drone. It's supposed to... to do what now? The sky! My good lady! has been designated a safe space for pterodactyls. That means no air traffic, no noise pollution, no post pleistocene levels of atmospheric oxygen, and no whatever the hell you are! So, none of that stuff, just thousands upon thousands of pterodactyls? Yes, it's safe! <laughs> Was that a giant egg filled with paint? Maybe. Where did it come from? Is that a joke? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so is there a safe space for non-pterodactyls? Ha! Ha! A safe space for non-pterodactyls? The whole Earth is a safe space for non-pterodactyls. Any ground on which you walk is worshipped and paved with gold and platinum privilege of privilege. Privilege of I clearly meant to say rivulets of privilege. Cool. Uh, actually, I don't get to go wherever I want. Silence! Okay, give me that damn drone. We have disabled its terraphobic features. You broke it. Ah! It had terraphobic features, and we manually deactivated them. Assholes. Oh, God damn it! Do we have a doorbell? Yes. Yes, we do. Why don't you answer it? Is that your sign? Yes, yes it is. Why do you hate the pterodactyls? It says beware the pterodactyls, not behate the pterodactyls. That's a good word though. Why do you, do you where why why do you love hate? You're just as bad as the pterodactyls! What? All you do is complain about the pterodactyls. Yeah! Wait, wait, how, how are we just as bad as the pterodactyls? Because you have a sign saying beware of the pterodactyls! We're not annexing the entire sky and bombing everything with giant paint-filled eggs. No, but you officially have an outspoken problem with that. But, hang on, you think pterodactyls are good? Yes! And you think pterodactyls are bad? Yes! So why aren't you arguing with each other? We found a common enemy in you. Why us? Because, because you, you got, got a sign! sign! <laughs> if there is an afterlife, I hope there's a separate facility for people who died as ironically as you. Achtung! Hello? You'll never build anything! Ah, uh, There's... This? Oh my god, why'd you need a building?! No! No, I don't want to do it! No, I don't want to do it, it's silly! I don't know. I am not silly! You are! It isn't... Bloody hell. Um www.feedthebadger.com Look, what incentive could you possibly have given me to do this? It makes no sense. You haven't figured out my character at all, have you? Uh. The majestic giant panda is a wonder of nature like no other. It defied its own programming and declared to all the other fauna, Who are you to say we should roam the forest, eating and fucking anything that moves or smells? I like grass. And bamboo is the stake of the grass world. Screw you guys, I'm staying here. And the bears said to the pandas, Screw us, screw you. You're definitely going to die out and go extinct if you undergo these shenanigans. We hereby disown you, and you may not call yourself a bear. And the pandas said, But some zoologists believe the panda is actually a kind of giant raccoon. And the raccoons said, We don't like you either. 
You're definitely going extinct. You can't call yourself a raccoon. So the panda said, fine, I'll make my own subspecies of whatever with blackjack and hookers and screw the hookers. And they lived happily ever after and didn't go extinct. The moral of the story is save the panda and feed the badger. Is that all right? Uh, makes sense. What do you mean? You didn't say anything about making sense. <laughs>